Hello, good night, and welcome to another episode of Dangerous Things You Can Least Expect. For tonight's episode, I have been suffering from a bit of a writer's blockage, and what that have mean are that I have ran out of my own ideas, and so I've gone to the interweb net to see if some of you can give me ideas of what to do it on. So I just want to thank for everyone who make a different suggestion. Thank you for doing that. But tonight I have chosen one that come from Kate Marshall, who come from Wheeling, West Virgin area. And the thing that she have suggest for tonight's dangerous thing you can least expect are the glitchy. Now years ago when I have say that to my friend, I say that are a glitchy. He look at me and he say, no, it are not a glitchy, it are a cliché. And so I realized there are a bit of French influence in the word cliché. Sound a little bit la -di da Anyway, that are tonight's dangerous thing. What is a cliché? It are, according to the dictionary, an overused saying. And so what that means are it is something that you are saying that your friends are a little bit over because of how much you have used it. Now, as I like to do, I like to break down the word into the different words that make it up. So if you look at cliché, you have the word cli and the word she. Now the word she, that mean like a dictator. Remember there were that famous dictator, she the guava, and he were a dictator to Cuba. Now, I don't want you to be confused. We are not talking about Cuba Gooding Jr., the actor. Che Guevara were not a dictator to him. That were Tom Cruise. So we're just going to be looking at a couple of cliches. And there are so many cliches. We could probably even do a glitchy part two episode or something. And even if you have an idea of one you want me to look at, maybe just email it to me and maybe we can do that sometime. But for tonight, I am just wanting to look at five different glitches and how they can be dangerous for you. And the first one that I want to look at is the glitchy that go, the writing is on the wall. Now, when I was a, a kid, this were very true and very dangerous because often I put the writing on the wall and my parents, they did not like that a lot. And they used to introduce me to Mr. Happy Spoon who I can tell you was not always so happy, or he did not make me happy. Anyway, the second one that I want to look at is the one that goes, money is the root of all evil. Now, I am not so sure about this one, because I have planted money on many occasions, but I have never grown any kind of evil that I am aware of. And I think if we want to be more honest with this one, then we will say, raisins are the root of all evil. Because even if you look at the word raisins itself, it have the word sins there at the end. And so I think even the word itself is a little bit of a global warning to stay away from raisins because they can make all kinds of evil. Why do you think the hot cross buns are so cross? Anyway, that probably are another episode. The third one I want to look at is not so much dangerous as confusing. It is when people have say, this is the moment of truth. Now, my question are, is the moment of truth what follows them making that statement? This is the moment of truth, or is this, when they say it, this is the moment of truth, was that actually the moment of truth itself? It are very confusing, and I think people should just say what they mean. For the last two glitches, I am going to be looking at them together because, as you will see, they are related. They might even be like a second cousin or something. And the first one is the cliché, curiosity killed the cat. And then the second one are the cliché that go, a cat have nine lives. And so what that say to me are curiosity, you have got your work cut out for you, but don't give up. You just have to wait another nine or eight more times and then you'll be okay. So keep going. So anyway, those are a few cliches and hopefully I have given you an insight into how they can be dangerous for you. But before you go, I want to leave you with a cliche of my own that I made up, which I think sums up 
most of life and he go like this you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it throw stones in glass houses and that one that is such a truth because if you think of a horse he have got a hoof and a hoof you can't pick up a stone with a hoof and so he will not be able to throw a stone in a glass house but maybe he can kick it at the house or if you stand behind him maybe he will kick you in the stones and then that will not be funny at all anyway i hope i have opened your eyes as to the dangers of glitches or as they say in france cliches have a good day further